everybody welcome back to barbara dave's barbershop at home i'm barbara dave and we're going to continue with our uh video series for this week with sapoficio veracino uh the razor uh for today we're going to switch away from straights for a little bit and uh, we're going to be using the blackland vector and it's got a brand new feather pro guard blade in it for the brush we're going to be using the sapoficio veracino artisan 2.0 in ivory with a high mountain manchurian uh, not for the aftershave of course we will be using the tundra arctica or arctica i should say and for the shave soap again the tundra arctica they don't make these uh holders anymore and they were beautiful and you really can't see it they were a marbled uh, kind of a faux ivory uh and then for the edt which is actually we're going all the way almost to the absolute level we're going to an extract uh this is unobtainium unfortunately and there's only that much left and this is crab train evelyn's uh, extract of Missouri sandalwood. Now, this was purchased in the 1980s, and uh, it was $34.95, which was, you know, a little bit of money back then. Um, I have searched high and low uh, to find another bottle of this, uh, but I have not seen any. I've, in fact, I've only seen one, I believe two, and both were north of uh, $500. In fact, one was almost 1000 because what happened is I guess the Indian government really put a lockdown on the uh, the cutting of uh, Missouri sandalwood trees. And this is an actual extract, and the next step up would be absolute. So uh, this is a wonderful fragrance, probably the best sandalwood I've ever, ever tried. And uh, unfortunately, it's only got <laughs> a little bit left on it before it's gone forever. So uh, if you can get a hold of it at a, at a decent price, do it. It's worth every bit of it. Um, Tundra Arctica is a very unique. It doesn't get a lot of play that the other uh, SV soaps that are on the Colonia side get, such as 70th, um, Dolomiti, uh, Apuntia, uh, Kubebe, those. This one's more in the range of uh, Stella Alpina, and, but it's got some very interesting notes in it. And if you're an Oud lover, this is definitely the SV soap for you because they do something different as far as the uh, blending of their fragrance oils. And you don't see it very often where the top notes are wood. Usually your base notes are where the wood's at. So, for instance, uh, the top note here is agarwood, oud, right out of the gate. Cedar wood, and then they add tangerine to lighten it up a little bit, which gives it a really, really neat kind of a high mountain berry type of, uh, of, of scent right out of the gate. Very sharp, very pungent. Because um, there is lichen in there from, from the high mountains, which is a, a good skin property. Uh, your middle notes are... Cashmeron, which is another wood, and basically it's a ketone that comes out of the wood. It's a natural ketone that comes out of the wood that gives a, a boost to the agar and to the cedar on the top side. So it's really neat. Um, it uh, It's really kind of cool how, uh, how that ketone works. Um, and then you've got Damascan rose, which is a little bit different than a Turkish or a Bulgarian rose, a little bit sharper than patchouli for that big punch right in the middle. And then on the base, you have amber, saddlewood, and leather. So it's a very warm fragrance. Not one that I would probably use uh, in the summer months, but in the, uh, in the winter months, uh, for sure. It's just, it's just a fun, very... This one hits you in the face. And you know, most of the time, a lot of the SV stuff can be a little bit on the mild side, but this one really, you get the oud right out of the gate, but it's not, I think the, the, the tangerine and the cashmeran and the Damascan rose really tame down that barnyard uh, fecal uh, note that sometimes you get with ouds or with agar. And it really balances it extremely well, in my opinion. Hope everybody's doing well for a Monday. Uh, in typical Arizona fashion, we went from being in the 80s to now I think our high temperature today is supposed to be 53, I think, 52, 53, which means up here it's probably in the... Uh, high 40s um looking out looking out my back door um the snow level on the mountains came down pretty far 
another thousand feet, I think we would have gotten some snow. We did get quite a bit of rain last night, late, or I should say early this morning. And so that was nice. Again, with all SV soaps, the tablespoon of water that you put on the on the puck is, in my opinion, not nearly enough to get a good workable lather. So I always add more water, obviously. A little bit more water. Traditionally, the first um, pass on a brand new feather can be sometimes a little harsh. But the vector is so easy to use that it's very intuitive. For a large feather style single edge razor, It, uh, it's very much like the ASD2. Almost a zombie S shave, but it's amazing. Lately, I've been getting caught more often with a DE or an SE than I have a straight, and I caught my lip on that one. You're probably trying to go too fast. So those of you here for the train wreck or the NASCAR people, yes, you can slice yourself open with a vector. Which is kind of funny, actually. But it also goes to show that you can get very... complacent with an SE, especially one like the Vector. Because it's so easy to use. but it delivers a tremendous shave. I had a great Zoom call last night. Um, a lot of fun subjects talked about. So we uh, encourage all of our TSC members to join our Wednesday Zoom calls. Um, also, very proud to announce that we have made it to 500 members. So slowly but surely, as they say. And we'd like to welcome Avocado Queen as our 500th member. Yeah, pretty good one on that one. It's 
So I guess the moral to this story is that straight rage is not the only thing that can give you an injury, especially when you're being stupid. I'm trying to go too fast. So anyhow, yeah, join uh, join one of our Zoom calls. The Wednesday night Zoom calls are our family kind of game night where everybody kind of shows up to have a good time. And then the Sunday calls are a little bit more mellow. Uh, older guys speak. Also, as this video is coming out, I would like to uh, give best wishes uh, to one of my one of my good friends that's uh, part of the cadre that is under the weather right now, uh, Major Rich. Rich, we hope you uh, feel better very very soon. Um, but it's that time of the year. Okay, let's see how we did with the alum. I know that part of it's going to sting. Yeah, nothing on the face, but ah, Yahoo. Definitely on the lip, but nowhere else. And that's definitely a dolphin smooth baby like smooth shave, DSBBS. And that's it. And the one nice thing about this Tundra Ar Artica is that you really continue to smell that. To me, I hate to say that it's linear, but the oud and the tangerine and the sandalwood are the ones that really um stand out to me the patchouli i don't get a lot of um but the oud and the tangerine and the and the sandalwood is really what i get out of of this well in a large way as always the blackland vector is a wonderful wonderful razor again with uh, any of the sv stuff you do want to shake it up especially the older versions, and just a couple of drops is all you need. And this one's powerful. Oh, it's beautiful. That nice oody goodness, along with the tangerine. And then of course, as it dries down, uh, it gives you that, that sandalwood uh, feel. Uh, today, we're gonna be using uh, Boro Talco for the, the talc because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to ruin the, the goodness that is the oud. We'll let that dry down a little bit humid here today because we had so much rain. But this stuff really just is very, very skin nourishing. We trust everybody will be uh, healthy, safe over the next couple weeks before we get to Thanksgiving. cloudy day and one thing I recommend for those that are using talc um, as moisture gets with the talc it can be like volcanic ash it gets like cement so I do recommend wiping down any surfaces after each after each application of talc okay I'm gonna be somewhat sparing with this because it uh, there's not much left but, got to do the ears for Nurse Dave. And that's it. Well, we still got a couple of uses left. But if you can find this, find it. And if you can find it, tell me and I'll buy it. But it has to be at a decent price. All right, everybody, that's it. I certainly appreciate you joining us at Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. You got to see a little bit of a lip injury today. Um, if you haven't been to see us before, please do so at www the shaving cadre.com. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.